Hey, what's up guys? It's the final round and my name is Jordan. This is the channel where the episodes come out the day before the lines drop, usually, um, but we do have lines uh, the day before. Um, if you would like to discuss the lines throughout the day, I have a Discord. The link is in the description. It's a great community and it continues to grow. Um, I see new names every single day bringing their perspective. I can only say so many uh, picks or, or lines that I like in a video, and so it's good to have a community that spots out the, uh, the other lines that are good plays as well. So the link is in the description and I would love for you to join. Um, I don't charge for any of this, I don't charge for any of these picks, I don't think you should pay for anything if you don't know if it's going to work yet or not. Um, so if you do well with it and you would like to give back, I have a cash app and a Venmo in the description. And if you donate, it just helps keep me motivated, keep me going, and thank you to the people who have donated. So if you can, please like the video, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, so there's 50% of you guys that watch uh, haven't subscribed, so if you can, just go press that subscribe button for me. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Like, I never thought I'd get to 1,000, and then I saw 2,000, and so on and so on. It's still crazy to me, um, but uh, we're here, uh, and we're on the road to 10K, and that's insane so if you can please subscribe and if you have a little bit of extra time can you leave a comment for the algorithm any comment works you can say hello you can say goodbye and uh, it helps push the video out there to more people and it helps uh, the channel so uh, just a little bit of uh, an action from you can can help me uh, so I would appreciate that so thank you very much to the people who do comment and I am partnered with an app called Jock Market. Use promo code FINALROUND11. They'll match your first deposit from $20 to $100. They have player props, and they also have trading players like stocks. They just did a raffle giveaway for whoever played in a stock market um, on Friday. Uh, I'm sure they'll let me know the winner on Monday uh, since it's a business day. Uh, so uh, good luck to all the people who played. Uh, somebody will win an extra $100. And if you do play a market, uh, they, you have a risk-free up to $100 loss, they'll refund it back to you. Um, so it's pretty cool. So use promo code FINDAROUND11 to get that match uh, from $20 to $100. And I'm also partnered with an app, a data app called Outlier, and I will be using them uh, for this video for uh, a lot of the picks. Um, just taking a look at the uh, the data. Uh, so this video will be powered by Outlier. So I want to talk about the playoffs. Some people have said, Don't, never go by the last five games. And uh, that is true during the regular season. The last five games isn't that doesn't always tell the, the whole story. And you want to take a look at, you know, head-to-head -head matchups and, and other games. But when it's the playoffs and you already have a five-game sample or a six game sample that's what you look at the regular season no longer matters um, so that's what we went with and it, it worked out for a lot of the picks um, last time uh, the, so regular season matchups don't matter if you're you know four five and six games in so I do want to talk about our game seven and some picks that, that I like um, the first one's gonna be Malik Monk over 25 and a half PRA. Now he has absolutely exploded. I don't know what is going on with him, but that last game, that game six, he just was hitting everything. And the game before, I had his PRA, and uh, he he got like 19 PRA in the fourth quarter alone. Uh, so he has been on fire um, in this series. He has hit this line, uh, 25 and a half five out of six times. Uh, so I like the over for 25 and a half PRA for Malik Monk. And second pick, uh, I'm going with it again. Um, I, I still, I don't know if Steph Curry is going to have a crazy shooting game. So I'm going to look at his rebounds and assist prop. They have not changed this at all. He has not gone over uh, all six games of this series. Uh, so it's 100% rate. Um, that this has been hitting um, and they have it at 11 and a half rebounds and assists so i'm looking at the under for steph curry 
on that rebounds and assists. And the third one's an interesting one. Uh, Keegan Murray, at the beginning of this series, he wasn't playing many minutes and it looked like the coach didn't trust him much, maybe because he was a rookie. Um, but by game three, his minutes started to go up and up and up. And that last game, he played 45 minutes. Now I know some of that has to do with uh, Demonis Sabonis foul trouble, but he's still getting a ton of minutes. And his uh, PRA line is still pretty low. So I like the over of 19 and a half PRA. Um, if you uh, don't like uh, the PRA, he has been rebounding very well um, ever since he's gotten extended minutes. So you can look at his rebound line. So in the last three games, since he, his minutes have been going up and up and up, he's gone over this two out of three times. And uh, I, he was a very key part of that game six. Um, so I'm, I'm liking his over four points, rebounds, and assists. And my fourth place is going to be De'Aaron Fox. Um, I had his points and assists uh, last time around, but they just they jacked up his points line to 28 and a half points now. And he has gone under this four out of six times in this series. Um, so I'm looking at his rebounds and assists prop. It's at 12 and a half. And he didn't hit this the very first game of the series, but he ever, after that, he's gone over five out of five times. And he's been crushing this line. It hasn't even really been close. Uh, so that's rebounds and assists for De'Aaron Fox. I'm looking at the over. Now looking at the, the Heat in the Knicks matchup, this is where we're gonna have to look at some regular season numbers. Uh, over the, the final month of the season, the Heat were giving up the most points to the small forward position, and it showed uh, Chris Middleton was able to score uh, pretty well against the Heat. Uh, so I'm looking at RJ Barrett. Now RJ Barrett uh, against the Cavaliers, he didn't start out very well, um, but being a Cavaliers fan, I was watching and RJ Barrett, once he got to Madison Square Garden, games three and four, it's like he became a new person. And then it, it went into game five, he just, uh, something clicked for him. And uh, he just kept scoring and scoring and scoring with ease. Like it was, it was becoming very easy to him and his confidence was growing a lot. So I'm looking at his over on his points. His rebounding hasn't been too great because Josh Hart and Mitchell Robinson and uh, Hartenstein have been grabbing a ton of rebounds. So he hasn't been going over in the rebound uh, department, but I'm definitely looking at his points. Um, they have his line at 18 and a half, and with the Heat giving up the most to this position, uh, it should be a good matchup that the, uh, the Knicks should uh, exploit um, on the offensive end. And my sixth pick, the Knicks absolutely crushed Jared Allen, made him look like he um, didn't know how to play basketball. Like it was really bad. Like I, I don't know what, Jared Allen's spirits were just down um, going up against the Knicks. Um, the Knicks during the regular season, the last month of the regular season, gave up the least points and the least rebounds to the center position. So I'm looking at Bam Adebayo, the under at 25 and a half points plus rebounds. And in the head to head, the last three times Bam has had played the Knicks, he had gone under this line. And uh, the times he had gone over, you'll see it on the, the graphic. I know Mitchell Robinson was out for a long time. I forgot exactly when he came back. Um, so I, this could have been when Mitchell Robinson wasn't playing, uh, but definitely the last three games of the season, uh, he, he struggled mightily against the Knicks. So I'm looking at Bam to, to struggle in this series. Uh, so once again, that's under points plus rebounds, 25 and a half for Bam Adebayo. So that's six picks for you guys. Uh, sorry I didn't have a video for the Suns Nuggets game. I uh, had some, I was with family Friday night and then Saturday morning it's yard sale season. So uh, me and my wife were out for like five or six hours. Just going to yard sales, picking up stuff for a dollar, two dollars. That I'll eventually flip on eBay for, you know, $15, $20. And sometimes you get lucky and you get something that's worth uh, you know, 50 to $100 plus. Um, you just find hidden gems. So I, I, I think it's fun. Uh, so I, I spent all my morning and I'm actually really tired. And I can't wait to go to sleep. Uh, but I wanted to get this video out there for you guys. I didn't want to go two days in a row uh, without making a video for you. So I hope you guys are doing well with those bets. Um, I hope you do well with Sunday's games. And God bless all of you. Uh, it's the final round. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.